everybody. So today I'm going to show you how I get this holiday makeup look. I think it's so beautiful and glowy and fun and easy to wear. Um, it'd be perfect for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, even New Year's Eve. Um, I love it because it's natural yet different. The red lipstick is red, but it's not too much. Um, and then this glittery, gl gl glittery, gl glittery eyeliner is really soft and subtle, but still definitely different than your normal everyday. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and let's hop into it. Mrs. Claus, because I am Mrs. Claus. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm going to take the Ilia Serum Concealer in a damp, in a damp beauty vent, <laughs> in a damp beauty blender and get a nice base going for my eyes. My eyes have been really sensitive these days and really dry and I can't figure out what to do how, or how to help them. So this look is going to have kind of minimal eyeshadow Okay, so next I'm going to set my concealer on my eyelids with a translucent powder. I'm using the RMS Unpowder. It's a really good one. I'm just going to go in my crease with this color suede from the Beauty Counter Classic Eyeshadow Palette and just lightly shade my crease in. Make sure you blend out because we don't want any harsh lines. You can do circles, you can do windshield wiper, and it's always best to just start with a little bit of color and build your way up than it is to start with a lot of color because that is a lot harder to fix. Okay, so next I'm going to use this Ilia Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint in the shade Fresco. It is a really pretty shade. I already had it swatched on my hand, so I don't know if you can see that, but I just think it's a really pretty color, very universal for all skin tones because it has warm and cool tones, like gold and silver, so it really just should look good on everybody. Um, you can, of course, use this as a eyeshadow. I think I'm going to kind of play with it and see if we could do it as the eyeliner. Okay, so I just have an angled brush and I'm going to put a little bit on. So I'm just kind of winging out this eyeshadow. Hack for winged liner, just grab a makeup wipe and drag it towards um, the direction you want your wing to be pointed. Normally that's towards the end of your eyebrow. So I just clean it up and I promise you I am not a pro at winged liner, but this trick really, really helps. Okay, I am back with my winged liner on both sides. Um, I think it looks really pretty and I think it's really going to stand out more once we have the rest of our face done. We always look a little bit silly before we get there, but don't worry. We're going to move on to the rest of our face. I'm going to use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. It has SPF 40, which is great. I still love the, the skin integrity. I still really love that. Um, it's just that in this season, my skin is lighter and I just love trying new things um, but I still love that one and I use it whenever I um, self tan but this one is really nice too um, I have to build the coverage up on this one a little bit more um, but I have really been enjoying it the finish is really nice especially because my skin has been pretty dry like I was saying um, so it's really helped with hydration. I love that it has SPF in it. Okay, then I'm just gonna put a little dab of concealer for my eyes. I'm trying not to use too much. And then I'm going to ever 
so slightly powder under my eyes. My skin has just been so, so dry. It's been awful. And if I powder it too much, then I'll notice like all this dryness later in the day. So just a little dabs of powder. And then with a the bare fluffy brush, I'll kind of powder where I would get used to get oily. <laughs> if this has happened to you, then your skin has randomly changed from oily to really dry, let me know because it's been really a struggle. I'm going to contour my face. Remember we are wanting to lift our face. So I'm gonna put my bronzer right above my cheekbones and flick up. Also, if you are someone who you think your face um, makes you, your face shape makes you look really young, um, you can actually put your contour below your cheekbone and that will make you look a little bit older. So like a lifted look makes you look younger and um, a lower look makes you look older. So it's interesting all the different tricks you can do with contouring. Also the same for like your jawline. You've heard, probably heard like, if you feel like you have a double chin, you can shade in your jawline. Um, I feel like my jawline um, is a little bit too prominent, so that's why I put my contour right on it. However, if I wanted my jaw to stick out more, I would put my contour right under it and leave this um, bright. And it would, the shading underneath would help whatever is above it stand out more. But I'm not into anything too crazy, just whatever um, that I can do and still look natural. I'll never forget when I first started getting into contouring, I came to class and my best friend was like, <laughs> what happened to your face? It looks like you got punched in the face. And it probably did because I probably wasn't very good at blending then. Um, but I'll never forget that. It's so funny. All right, so really we're doing mostly creams in this tutorial, which I really love. This is the Tower Cream Cream Blush in Beach Please. Um, I really, really like it. The color payoff is incredible, and the staying power is also incredible. I tried the Ilia Cream Blush, and I like that one too, but I think this one um, stays a lot better. I mean, the color payoff is intense, which you'll see. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful with it unless you want to look super, super blushy. But you can see, I mean, like, wow, I'm hardly even dabbing that on my face. And you can see so much color. So again, I'm directing this up towards my temples not coming i mean you can if you want but i'm not i'm keeping it kind of high up on my face this is the <clears throat> magic luminizer from rms and it is a highlight so i'm going to i found you kind of have to warm it up on your finger so i'm going to take a good bit and kind of just rub it in between my fingers and then i'm going to dab it right on the very tip of my cheekbone and drag it up into my temple area and it is really beautiful I hope you can see how nice it is and once again with the highlight too um, it's much better to build it up than it is to put too much on and then I take whatever is left over and dab it on my brow bone. Okay, then I'll put a little on my cupid bow. 
because why not? And then I'm gonna take some on a brush and put it on the inner corners of my eyelid. And then I am gonna go over it with a shimmery powder, um, just on my eyelids. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, take this ivory from that same Beauty Counter palette and just kind of lightly tap over where I put that cream just to help with crease. Good. Next, I'm gonna take the Ilia eyeliner in the shade Twilight. It is a gel liner. Um, this is new to me. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I think I like it, but I am going to get this as close to my lash line as possible. Okay, so I just smudged out that liner a little bit and that helped. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I just put a teeny bit of black really close to my lash line just to kind of define my lashes a little bit more before we put on any mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm probably not gonna show this on camera because it takes a hot minute. Um, there are tons of brow videos online. If you are interested in exactly how I fill out my brows, I can definitely do an in-depth tutorial, but essentially I just do teeny little hair-like strokes. Now I'm going to do mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It is the best. I talk about it all the time. Um, this is a mini size because I'm waiting for a new full size, um, but yeah, it's the best. So I have my lashes on, they look so good. Then finally, for our finishing touch, we're going to do a red lipstick. This is the Lily Lolo uh, lipstick in the shade Stripped. It is so pretty. I normally am a little bit afraid of red lipstick, but this one is red, but it's not like so intense. Also, it's not drying, which is really nice. And I'll show you what it looks like. And if you wear a dark colored lipstick and you're afraid of getting it on your teeth, here is a great trick. You just go like this. And any lipstick that's too close to your teeth will come off. So this is the finished look. I think it is really pretty. Um, I feel really festive wearing this. Um, I love the red lipstick and I love the glittery wing. I think it's really glowy. Um, I feel very highlighted and festive, but not like too made up. Um, yeah. So that is today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.